Hello, good afternoon. Uh, not for a long time. I, I didn't get into any kind of one-to-one -one interaction in the video. I just wanted to uh, let you all know. I wanted to let know. I'm just going to go by all the people who helped me on. Uh, who's helping me to have a mind of Christ. Well, basically Christ himself is helping me to do that and I can see how he's changing my life and my life has changed from the from the last I mean f from the all the crazy things that I before had experienced till this moment I really see the changes in my life going in the right I mean they are taking place the peace are with me Lord provided peace to me in my mind in my heart now I'm more more open to hear his voice through the scripture and through the other people who want who want to help me who who just like who who love Christ as well and and they have more profound understanding of scripture and what it what it actually says so I'm just going to go by and just say thank you to all the people who I met on the way from the beginning of my birth new birth in the in the Holy Spirit so thank you very much Duncan Duncan you did very much for Christ and you definitely have a you definitely have a Holy Spirit with you and you know what to say when you need to say and you are a very kind person and and you encourage me to to provide people with the Bible and some encouraging word to not lose a hope and faith in God to these people that's the most important thing that you could ever do for somebody so Lord definitely loves you for that um, I want to say thank you for shock who I met in the YouTube from his testimony and uh, brother Kevin who's who's fellowshipping with him together I think so I think so yeah they are fellowshipping together that's a UK people that those are from UK people I want to thank you Adam and your father Todd and your mother um, for 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 Bibles and for for the help all through the way till this moment coming closer to Lord every day more and more of understanding things from more deeper and scientific way about the biblical truth and a dispensation of 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 of, of Bible and God and ages. Um, thank you very much to the rest of you in my YouTube family who are Christians there and listening to me every day and taking note. I mean taking notice of what I'm doing and and encouraging me through the comments and well well said words in the comments or, or, or in prayers. I wanna say a big thank you to to all those people who are donating money for for um for families who doesn't have a uh, clothes to wear or, or food to eat. Um, I want to say thank you to all my classmates uh, who donated some clothes for homeless people and needy people. I want to say thank you to to my father and his wife and my sister for encouraging and um, saying well words to towards me and uh, and respecting that I'm with the God. That means to me a lot. Because Bible says that uh, the God will turn me to my own family if they're not with the Lord. I want to say thank you to my granny sister with who I'm living. She's now at the rehab, so a um, big thank you for her to let me in in her house. I want to say big thank you to who else? Who else? Well, I want to say big thank you to. Linda, I used to go to her Bible group, 
but we just the things didn't click right there because obviously the pastor preacher he have a bad background and I mean the reputation in the country is I mean in Riga in the capital city is not very well for him and obviously I went through a couple of uh, Sundays I mean a lot of Sundays and I just understood that the words are very wise and profound but there might be something hiding there bef behind behind the there is hiding something which I don't know. I can discern that very well by uh, even uh, shaking his hand and coming close to him. So I have probably missed out somebody as well. I want to say thank you to Duncan's friends, which live in the New, New Zealand, New Zealand, and Australia and the UK. Then they are supporting me too with the good words and good wishes and the prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior. Um, who else? I might miss out somebody, definitely. I want to say a big thank you to my family as well, my grandma's sister's sister and my grandma and rest of my family as well. I respect them and I honor them for who they are and what they did for me in my, in my past. I want to say a big thank you to my granny's daughter's husband's I mean, my granny's last husband's brother for supporting and coming to uh, to Lord and helping me to find people who I can help to. And he's a very busy man in these last days. He's not even answering to my calls anymore because, I mean, he answers, but he does he forgets to call me back because he's too busy. And he's probably keeping me in the prayers, that's for sure. So that's that's very good and powerful as well, definitely. I think he's keeping me in prayers, definitely. I will keep him as well in prayers, and I will keep you all in my prayers as well for that. Lord is, uh, uh, Lord is faithful and Lord is gracious, merciful for all of us who are coming in His presence. Um, I want to say a big thank you to my Iranian friend as well, Ali, for. Um, for all what he done to me. I mean, Brother Raymond as well in the, in Messenger Group. Even if they're too pushy and too 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 rational, I mean, it's very hard to deal with these kind of things. You know, when I'm speaking now one to one with the video camera and speaking out loud as my diary, just uh, just speaking, you know, um, looking out of box, you know, just taking a step back and and thinking what kind of situations I've been into with these people who love Christ and believe Christ as well. It makes me think. It makes me really step back and have a have a profound understanding or try to understand. I think, I mean, better understanding of what kind of situations and experience I've been through with them by having uh, some arguments and issues about uh, what is what. I understand that they are trying to, I mean, those people who pushing too much, they want to understand, uh, they want to make us understand the, uh, the importance of God and Jesus Christ and to believe in him, which is not a bad thing because we need to be scared of God in sense of uh, respect him, love him and keep his statues as I was listening in other in other, uh, my uh, I mean, uh, in YouTube, I have these people uh, subscribe to me, and I'm subscribed to them who are Christ, Christ-like people as well, and uh, and I heard in they in they preaches and and then thoughts about God as well that um, what I was saying, I forgot. I'm sorry, I just was getting confused. Um, uh, that. Uh, uh, That is important to uh, ah, in a sense, about scare about the being scared of God, that we not supposed to be scared that we running in somewhere in a dark place and room and being scared and I'm not gonna pray because he doesn't he's angry with me, or 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 he's too too mighty for me. And actually, to be honest, I know mo most of you people might be not 
believing in that but evil spirits well bible jesus himself said throughout the bible about these about these evil spirits and uh, the time to time they're coming and lie and they're coming to me and lying to me about certain things as well and that, that's the actually today i had this they try to implicate in my mind s to be scared of god uh, which is i think more, most of the the biggest tool what they are using the satan and demons are using to make us be scared to make us to make us scared to to fear put in us fear but fear just like crazy fear fear from nothing you know fear it's more as a depression it's more as an anxiety and paranoia from nowhere uh they're attacking me quite often because they obviously don't want me to speak to people and they don't want me to speak to no one about truth but i'm i've been left alone I mean, in my dreams, most of the times now, passed away, and it was very crazy. To be honest, I can. I'm watching to myself right now, and I'm thinking, "Wow, yeah, I'm changed. I can see I'm really changed," you know, because my mind is operating in a different level already in the spiritual realm, and I don't want to be bragged about that. I don't want to be boasting about that because. I don't need to be boast about that. That's that simple truth that it is. Uh, no words can actually explain what I'm experiencing, what all other people are experiencing, being in Christ. Because I believe that words are they are just for as a tool to help others. Anything what you can use to help others, that's the that's the best thing you can you can do. We can always, we we will need to always fight back to our words. Um, greed, self, all we want to get out from that something, you know, for ourselves. Like, no, that 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 no, that's not gonna work for you. And uh, a lot of people who did the healings and stuff like that, and they started to take money for that. Bam, gone, cursed used it in the wrong way bible says about that a lot it's not good well you always can repent from that so if you're using your gifts we need to be careful how we're using our gifts because god can punish us for that and i don't want to really be punished it comes with a big responsibility the gifts and understanding of christ and god and kingdom of god and angels it comes with a big responsibility and i kind of getting realized about that i start to realize how actually big responsibility it is to believe god and uh, i have a lot of friends who doesn't believe in that and they're gonna laugh about me they always will laugh and i know that i believe god and i don't need to prove to nobody nothing to no one i sometimes I think and believe that I don't need to prove to God anything too because the works will not save us. We don't need to prove to no one nothing. Well, in such a way to God, we need to prove our love to Him. But I mean, through, through not through actions. Well, through actions, but not in a, in a sense of, oh, I'm going to now do uh, charity, helping people, and then God will accept me. No. If you lack some spiritual gifts, you lack you lacking the knowledge of what you need to what you need to exactly do to to please Lord, uh, then then definitely that's not what you need to do. You you need to get in the scriptures. That's why we have scriptures. That's why we have people who are who learned about the scriptures more in profound way. That's why I want to say big thank you again to Duncan, because Duncan actually opening my mind he's the i mean john MacArthur and duncan i'm sorry i i don't, i always for clarkins i mean yes duncan clarkins I, I think that's his last name so john mccart and duncan clark uh, duncan clarkins uh clark clarin clarinx clark clarkins i'm sorry duncan for <laughs> pronounce your last name wrong i don't even know you your last name i don't know your last name i i, I just go for I, I go from my brother in christ or brother 
Uh, yeah, and I mean, Adam's father, Todd, there's the three people who I, who I deeply listen because they don't want to prove to me nothing. And there is other people as well. I'm, I'm getting them. I'm getting them. I'm getting them. No, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to know them. I'm introduced with them through, through YouTube. Uh, God led this together and that. I always ask God to send me a good people in my way so we can uh, so I can grow stronger and we can sharpen each other so uh, and uh, yeah I'm gonna learn more and more and I'm, I'm excited to to be part of uh, of God's family and Jesus Christ family and to all those who having a fun out of this thinking how mentally ill I am I suggest you to open the Bible if you are so so hundred percent sure that that everything what's written in the Bible is completely wrong and, and it's it's nonsense. So it means that you probably studied it for a very long time, that you have so profound understanding of that it's a complete nonsense. So you probably studied it for a very long time. So and if you didn't, how you can, you know, and Bible says don't argue with these people. This very that's that's what I'm don't argue with these kind of people. Don't argue with them. I'm going to finish now talking because actually this is the first time I'm actually having a profound conversation about what I believe, what I went through and where I'm right now. So I love you all, my brothers and sisters. My past is my past. I, I don't really care what other people think about me and because I care what God thinks about me. And I feel that he... He cares about me. He thinks good things about me. I have a feeling. I know I'm sin. I, I know I'm sinning. I know that I, I know that I, I'm sinning every day, you know. But he's he's merciful and gracious. But I suggest you to not test him as well. You know, repent. Always repent. It's better to repent. Come back home and say, "Sorry, God. I didn't mean meant to do that." Please show me how to not to do this again. Teach me, show me how to. He will sustain you and put you up on your feet in whatever situation or or crazy thing you have in there. And I'm grateful for God that he he showed me the path on the right path to to go through. So I love you all and take care of each other. Be compassionate and patient is the key for understanding and gaining people in name of Christ. For Christ's sake, not for our sake. I love you all. Take care. Bye.